Get crazy. Look at that. Hey, what's that? Oh, sorry. That's just a fender. But it's got the same line. So we're going to get crazy. See what happens. Wish me luck. What you're going to do is cut out a section. What I did was I aimed for everywhere I could see that there was no more rust. Try not to do it all at once because what you'll do is make this real super wavy. And yes, you're adding Bondo, but we don't have to kill it. There was always a dent here and a dent here. But, like I said, try to, you know, first you want to clear all the rust. So obviously there's no more rust. If you look at your cut, your cut will tell you everything. Your cut will tell you everything. Obviously the rust is from my cut down this way. First, for this purpose, we are just going to bend this out. And I'm actually going to just cut this out. This is just a junk bed. It's not gonna be nothing spectacular, but I'm gonna cut all this out and I'm leaving that out. Um, I'm gonna do my own support in the center and on the side, but what makes these rot is right here, this pocket. And you can see, look at it, look what's in the pocket. Look, sand, dirt, you know, there's a plug here and a plug there, but even if the plugs were out, the water would have to put up to here just to get out. So if you're putting a new one on, I suggest when you, before you put this on, as you drill a hole there, like in the in the angle, in both, you know what I mean, in both upper corners, like, you know what I mean? It's going to roll this way and that way, but drill it there. So, like I said, we're just going to... It's mostly cut and look, I peeled it away. Um, I didn't want to hammer that corner because that's my good material. Uh, so, what we're going to do is just sort of flake it out. We'll get it out. A little twist. A little twist. A chance here. Like I said, I'm, this bed is, you know, has potential to be a nice bed. Everything else on the bed is really nice. Um, but at this point, I'm looking for a new bed for this particular truck. Because this truck is uh, not a show truck, but it's going to be a nice truck. I got a lot of time into the motor and time into the truck itself. It's going to be a nice orange. Take that piece of rust, throw it out. Scrap truck at the bottom of the hill. But... So. We got it down to where we see what we're doing here. When I say see, I mean quick, quick you throw together um, with the other piece, which is in the vise. I started drilling it out or grinding it out. But let me see something here. Got to get that grinded out or drilled out. And then we're going to try to attempt to do and slide this behind the other piece. See that? That's my goal. So if I can slide that in there. And, uh, slide it in. Don't mind the train, that's free. Free train. So we got slid in, we're gonna try to get it up in this end. Um, obviously I'm not using all that material. So what I'm going to do is cut a little more off because obviously, look, I'm below the, if you look, I'm obviously still below, what I call that is like, that's the, um, you know, the wheel flare, if I put an aftermarket wheel flare on it. So, and I can see on this where it's at, so we're going to do a cut right about here. All right. We're, I'm sorry, we're going to cut, we're going to cut a lot of this off. Try to, we're trying to sneak it in here. You'll see why. Quick glimpse into the future. We're just sitting in here, like I said. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're piecing this in here. We're gonna piece this puppy in, just as if we bought a, uh, you know, eighty-dollar one off eBay. We misjudged a little, but I mean, we're welding all clean metal in, so we can we can bend and make whatever we want. All right. So if you look in there, see the hole. So I scribed. Uh, I scribed the line at, I scribed this line on the piece of green on the inside. What the heck is that? 
Oh, there it goes. See that line? That, that center is that center. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take a screwdriver, bear with me, and I'm gonna scribe my line. Sorry about that. Now there's, that's my line. So what I'm gonna do here, call me, people call me nuts, crazy, whatever. There's my line. I'm gonna cut that line. I'm gonna try to stay on the outside of the line. I'll cut away from it a little, and then I'll come back. And I, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll smooth it, and I'll fit it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a custom fit. You know what I mean? I'm gonna grind this edge, grind this edge, fit it in, and I'll tack, tack, I'll tack, 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 tack. You know what I mean? All the way around. Get it where I want it, make sure it's flush. I'll put a magnet, actually I got this big magnet that I turn and it'll lock it. And I'll lock it in place and weld it together. Wish I had a cameraman for this. Glance into what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see, but you can still see my line that I scribed. I didn't go all the way through yet, but I'm pretty deep. Uh, and I'm just following that line. I'm just following that line, I'm gonna follow it all the way around. I'm actually gonna do that kind of cut and then come back and go through. Cause I don't want to heat it up too much anyway. It's a little warm, so you know what I mean? Cut it all, cut the whole line, and then we'll go back and we'll cut through. All right, so here we go. Look, they cut it out. Important part is we got this structure here. I left the other stuff on the back side because like I said, we're not putting that other piece in for the moment. I'm not gonna put that piece back in. So now let's see how it looks. I mean, like I said, we're not, we're, not, we're not shooting a beauty patch in here. But look, we're building a puzzle. Look, my jigsaw puzzle's coming together. You know what I mean? Hey. Let's go. Another thing you could do if you'd like to is cut a little, cut two sections and we're going to do it. We're going to cut two sections this big, uh, you know, one inch by two inch. And then I'm going to clean that up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it here and I'm going to weld it here. It'll just give us some strength behind it. Some people will actually take a whole other piece and put it behind there. This is not a show truck and this is really going to be for a structure. We do have flares to put over it, but it rotted away and you know, it, had some flapping in the wind and trying to clean it up a smidge. Later on, you could easily, you could always put these in. These aren't that bad. Obviously, draw them all out here, all the way around there. Or some people just take a whiz wheel and cut that out. Just cut that straight around and then grind it and you can weld right to it. And the inner piece is only this big. I mean, see, it's, it goes from there to there. So easily replace later or you can do it now. Again, we're just doing a little quickie, just to give you an idea, you know, give you a handy, helpful hint. Believe it or not, just a magnet holding it there right now. There you go, man. I mean, look, without even having an inside structure, I mean, we gotta, we gotta tack this one and, and it'll give us some more strength. But look, I mean, I mean, it's a bedside, it's, it's there. I mean, yeah, some grinding and mud and you'd be surprised what happens here, you know what I mean? Little Marquette 135 old school welder. Some gas on the back. But hey, super low uh, heat. Don't believe that knob, it's not that high. This knob's kind of broke, but. So there you go. Kind of hard to see because of the green. But if I painted it at all, you better see it a little better. But to do for support, look, nothing shows. Look. Boom, there it all is. So finish doing all the spot welds and then go into the Bondo and then finish product, sand prime paint, send on its way.